not. So obviously, you know exactly how to build very strong and good, long-lasting relationships. Uh, how, how do you come about that? How, how do you build good relationships? Besides listening. Great, great, <laughs> great question. Great question. And, and the thing is, we all actually know the answers to this, right? Uh, the, the, the idea is it's all about value, right? People intrinsically in everybody's mind are thinking, uh, is this person somebody who sort of bring value to my life, uh, who enrich my life, who, right? So, so if you want to build good relationships, you want to focus on really learning and understanding the people, that's, that included listening, but then understanding and empathizing, and then focus on how can I provide value, right? As an example, as an example, when I interview each one of those guests, and, and we've done 119 so far, so I, I've, I've done 119, um, what is an hour and a half or an hour? One guest went three hours with us. That, that's not a goal, <laughs> but uh, we, it, we, we had such a great conversation, we kept talking. But the really idea is, when I have a guest on for an hour officially, we run over a little bit and whatnot, when we run over and we're having fun and whatnot, my focus has always been, how do I provide value for this guest? I, I don't worry about the next guest, I don't worry about the other guest, I don't worry about standardizing things. I just solely focus on that person. How do I provide best value for that person? Uh, so, so if you have clarity of what you're trying to do, providing good value, uh, and as you learn more about the, the person that you're dealing with or the group that you're willing, dealing with, and you're providing value, uh, that tends to be very good with uh, relationship building in the long run. So, so I would boil down to that. Uh, can you find ways to provide value uh, all of 